I absolutely acknowledge that there are pros to being super hydrated. But for me, there's one massive con. You have to get up to pee all the time. The other part of it is that you actually deplete your body of minerals at usually a faster rate than you put them back in. And so a lot of people who actually drink a lot of water end up getting more cramps, feeling shittier, having headaches. And I experienced all this stuff. I actually went completely the other direction and I only drink when I'm thirsty. What a lot of people don't know is that a lot of food has water in it. And I eat about a pound of fruit every day. 90% of that's water. I think the obsession about water for me, if you're like, dude, I love drinking water, then drink water. I don't care. I am sharing what worked for me. And maybe if you're somebody who pees a lot, it disrupts your day and it disrupts your sleep, then consider not drinking as much water. All right. I absolutely agree with him. I always see these gym rats, you know, going in with a big gallon of water. Drink when you feel thirsty. I know I've heard this shit like, if you are thirsty, that means you're dehydrated already. I mean, come off of it. If you have a high level of activity, if you sweat a lot, you're in a sun-filled, warm environment, and it's humid, you're gonna feel thirsty. Does that mean I stick a water hose down my mouth and just turn it on, just sit there all the time? No, absolutely not. Understand what he's saying is that if you pee a lot, number one, it's inconvenient. All of a sudden, you know, you're trying to look for bathrooms all over the place. If you're going to do some type of physical activity in the sun, then maybe drink a little bit more water, but make sure that it has electrolytes in it. And if you're peeing completely clear, guess what? You've diminished all your minerals. That is a sign that you are peeing out too much of your minerals. So remember, there's a reason why your sweat is salty. It contains minerals. So I absolutely agree with him. If you enjoy drinking water, great. If you have the bladder to be stretched and you don't have, you could drink a gallon of water and pee three days later, absolutely great. But think about your sleep too. You don't wanna drink two to three hours before you start to go to sleep because you're going to continue to break your sleep cycle. With that, just like anything else, food included, do things that are logical.